Um, hello everybody, I'm Steven here and this is part uh, 4 of a Archicad tutorial series um, where I'm modeling the Villa Tugun hat by Miss Vendero. So in the previous video we I show you how to model some of the columns and we use the complex profile to uh, create a cross columns and I also showed you how to create the um, staircase and today what I like to do is to put the house into context um, if we look at uh, Google map go into 3d view you can see that the house sits in a has a big garden and have houses around it next to the street so it'll be good to see the house in context um, but the thing is that I don't really have a, a proper survey uh, you know those contour lines that you use to create a 3D mesh in Archicad so in those cases what I do is to use uh, Google SketchUp I'm using uh, the pro version and I think that's uh, that's what you need if you want to do my um, my workflow because you need to import export the DWG lines and I think that's a uh, feature is only available for the pro version okay so what I'll do is to first create a new scene and you have to add the location if you don't see that uh, icon here you can just go into view toolbars and it's under it's under location so if you talk, click on and off you'll see that appear so I'm just gonna add the location and so because I did that previously so it's automatic showing but let's say I'm going back to Auckland because that's where I'm from Auckland and you were to type Villa Tugend Hat. There's no matches. So, one way of doing this is to just go back to Google Map and just tap Villa Tugend Hat here, and then you automatically go here. And you just copy the address, copy address, go back to SketchUp, Control V to paste it, search, and now you go to here. So now what we're gonna do is to just zoom in a little bit. So we we get most of the site but not too much. And then select region. Gonna move it a little bit. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'm gonna make it as a square. Kinda. And just go grab. Oops. Just go back to SketchUp. As you can see, he imported the, the image. And if you click on this layer and turn that off, you can see that uh, we got a 3D geometry with some height. So now what we need to do is to use that model um, as a base to create contour lines. And the way I create contour line is by First, creating a rectangle. So just gonna press R. That's the shortcut in SketchUp to use that tool here. Just gonna make a rectangle here, and you can see that rectangle. Uh, it's it's cutting the model, but we want it to start from the bottom, like the lowest part of the geometry. So I'm just gonna move that rectangle down to make it stick to the blue axis. You can just press the arrow key. Uh, I think it's the up arrow key and just try to reference the, the point here sometimes if you can't see below I think you press K oh, well, it doesn't show okay. but try to the, hmm. uh,
because now it's a bit difficult to connect. I'm not thinking I want to. So maybe you can just change the camera to parallel projection and maybe go to a side view and try to go to the lowest part possible doesn't need to be super exact but yeah and now we're just gonna create copies with a uh, one meter spacing so that will be the spacing between each contour line uh, one meter and I'm gonna make maybe let's say 30 copies I'm, I'm not exactly sure how high that is so that's what you get and oops okay so this you can see it's intersecting here so I'm just gonna turn this one off I'm gonna select all the rectangle that I made and I'm gonna right click and intersect with model so and then now I'm just going to delete the the faces of each rectangle that I made just so only uh, keep the lines okay <laughs> it didn't work out because um, I, I did something stupid I turned off the local terrain because you actually want to have that surface um, appear when you do that the intersection thing. So I'm just gonna control Z a little bit and select everything, turn the turn back on so it's it's actually there in 3D. And then now I'm just gonna intersect with model. I can turn that off and as you can see it created some lines. So now I'm just gonna delete and now you can see some lines appear. Um, this is kind of weird. Yep, so we can delete that. And as you can see, the contour is starting to form. Um, uh, the line that's stopping here because that's actually the where the 3D object uh, finished. And because our initial rectangle was a bit bigger. Okay. And. Actually, I think I'm gonna remove one of those lines, and maybe this one. I don't. It's a bit weird, but and then I'm removing the rest. So that's what I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna delete that little person there, and make sure that all the lines are deleted. One thing that I like to add, because I will import that into ArchiCAD is to kind of know exactly where the house sits I'm just gonna group all those lines together so I'm selecting them all make a group and then turn back the image on go to the top view and I'm gonna roughly create this just to give me an idea of where to place the house after and I think it's important to create some layers so that when we're going to import the DWG line into ArchiCAD we can turn the contour or the uh, house location on and off so Survey, survey, house, survey. Well, I mean, you could write whatever you want. Um, control and I think what I like to add as well is maybe the roads. So as you can see, it's kind of turning a little bit um, I'm just gonna add and you can have some rotated guides as well 
press T just both list on the guides Maybe we're gonna do that after in AkiCAD. It's better. Get more control. So I'm just gonna take that off and make sure that the you select the lines and change to survey contour. Select the house, make it as a group, and change it to uh, survey house. Or maybe select everything, even on the inside, because. Uh, I'm not too sure if when I bring it to ArchiCAD, it might keep it at layer zero. Um, so, go back here, select all the line, control A, and survey control. So now I'm going to turn off the snapshot. I have this. I'm going to file, export, 2D graphic. Um, Export whatever you want and um, survey choose DWG. What's in the option? That's mm, fine. Just export. And now we're gonna go back to ArchiCAD. Uh, I created a worksheet already here. Uh, worksheet is like a, a 2D space um, that's not connected to your 3D environment. So usually that's where I import photos or surveys first to check that everything's all right. So file, content, place drawings, um, survey. Uh, it's uh, one millimeter because in SketchUp you go back here, uh, you can model info. It's set to one millimeter. And so press place should bring into center and those are lines um, then I like to break it and I don't want to keep the original and I import the layers oh, oh everything's been put to archigate layer right. let's go back explode uh, use join layers. Now I think I want to import. Or oh, maybe it doesn't save the layers. Oh well. Uh, this is just to give us an idea of where things are. Um, so I'm just going to copy that. And go to. Let me see. C level. I'm just gonna paste. I'm gonna delete those lines here. Oops. Yep, uh, and so I'm gonna use that. To create my contour, uh, there's heaps of lines. Um, so next things to do is to create a mesh, and the mesh is just like a slab at, at the moment. So I'm just gonna follow that edge here, and then pull it. Take that edge, offset it so it fits here. In here. And then now all the lines disappear because the new mesh is overlapping the line. So just select the mesh, right click, display order, send to back. And yeah, it doesn't show, <laughs> of course. Uh, so you do the inverse, maybe you just select all the lines and display print to front. No, it works either way. Um, now what you want is to use those lines to create contours onto the actual mesh itself. 
so you select the mesh uh, select activate and now you just use the magic wand so it's a space bar and you click uh, you hover onto the line and then you press the left mouse button press ok so now it will create the the ridge lines like if you select the, the mesh and press F5 um, and then go on top of it you can see they're creating points on here um, activate again you could either just um, click on each line or one thing that I like to do is to just um, click in the middle so it will actually take those two lines here so it'll just go much faster well we go twice as fast uh, hmm. wait let's go back and maybe clean that up just select those two lines and make them intersect um, activate click it I use the space bar to activate the magic wand and clicking uh, in between the lines so now if I go into 3D you can see that I created all those nodes so I don't know exactly the right elevation uh, but what I know is that there's a spacing of uh, one meter for each line, like it's going in height by one, and this being the lowest part. So we're gonna leave this one. So this is, let's say this one's gonna be one meter, two meter, three, four, five, six, and yep. So you try to select the mesh, and then click one of the nodes and now you say one meter and you apply to all so it will apply to all the nodes that's been selected so those ones here if you go into 3d view you'll see that it kind of lifted a little bit so as we proceed to all those ones it will uh, shape our mesh so click here 2000 click here 3000 and it's so long. It, it might take a while because I, I did um, by meters. So just bear with me. And as you can see, it's falling. Uh, here we start to see some issues. Um, I think it's because the the line uh, were not connected. But if we go back here and click on those points, you see that it didn't set the height. So this one is two thousand go back in 3D view and that's correct and let's continue I think we're here I think if, if you didn't want to do too many of those you could have uh, changed uh, the spacing to let's say 2 meters so you have half of it to be done um, it really depends on how details you want your your mesh to be um, I guess in this case uh, it wasn't really that important you just need to get the overall but actually when you see that the contour are pretty close together so that the the topography is really detailed so maybe it is important and usually the more details you have on the mesh the more uh, real it looks but it takes time so I think there's some automatic ways of doing it um, but I'm still not sure how to do that um, if you had a proper survey um, like the file would have the information that you can bring into like Excel sheets and Archicad could um, read that and actually make a, a mesh automatically for you uh, if I can remember how to do that or find some more information online uh, maybe I'll make a video of it in the future but for now that's like the the way that I've been using um,
SketchUp to create my mesh. Uh, the issue with this is that you tend to to forget at which number you had. So yeah, in in typical survey, uh, you would have the text information next to the line, so it helps you uh, remember it. Um, but we're nearly there. So it's the say it's going pretty high, like uh, 28 meters. Oh, so we get about 30 meters. Oops, forgot to uh, add those two here. And just gonna set that to 30. And maybe this one as well. So we set to 30. So now let's go into 3D. We might have to do some tweaking. Um, as you can see, because on, on this one I set to 30, it actually um, put all the corners to 30, and that's not what I want. So let's go back to 2D view, and we're going to set that to, or maybe we're just going to Control Z a little bit. As you can see that that's okay. And so for this one, maybe we are just gonna maybe not care about this. And just do that and set that to 30, but not apply all. So it's only that point that I selected that will go up. F5. Um, and so it's this one here that went up. And you can see there's some points here that didn't go up even though we apply all I think it's because maybe the line wasn't connected uh, so you could either click on this try to find out which one it is well yeah it's not a super hard so you just have to visually maybe count so one two three four five six seven so seven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you check on this one. So it's at zero, so it's this one that we need to tweak. Uh, so it should be 8,000. You can see while I select this part of the mesh, it's not selecting the other point. So it's at least 8,000. Apply to all. And uh, let's check this one. 10,000 is fine. Let's put this one. So because you can see at the top here it's not selected. Eleven thousand. Let's go back to the 3D view. And we're still missing this one. Uh you could also do it in the 3D. So just click on the node and just reference it to the point that's already set to the correct height. Just another way of doing it. And this one. So now we got a mesh. It's about the same contour. And now we need to maybe place our house so it fits this. Where's the house? So it's here. Uh, Change. Your house is here, but uh, because we model it in a ninety degree view, I'm here to make it easier for us. Hmm. Because uh, you could just rotate that, but then it, it's it's not gonna be easy to. Hmm. Because there's another thing that I usually do is to use hotlinks so that the house uh, will be on the separate files and then I will import that house into a master file which has the, the mesh so it's easier to move things around. Because right now, let's say I take this and rotate it into position but it wouldn't rotate the, the upper level or the basement. So that's something, um, it's like a best practice that you you wouldn't do but 
this is this was just to show you how to to create the mesh maybe what I'll do is to let's say take that make a copy and roughly increase the size just to show you how we can how, how the, the house could look like into um, onto the side and the house should be let's see 10 meet 3 3 and 2 so let's say 9 meters and go back in 3d view we know that the change of height is about 30 meters so I'm just gonna move that up 30 so now the 3d should be going on top and let's get to the sea level make sure that the mesh is showing on the other level on all stories now if you go ground floor you'll see the mesh and like that so you can see the house should be rotated like about like this and around here uh, we don't know the exact location but because we have the survey here we can use that as a reference and it will help us to see um, the outline of the house so it should be around here of course um, I think in the next video I'm going to show you how I use the hot links uh, yeah. so now we're going to 3D view the house is a bit right there and then we can just drop it down so touch the ground and so here you would have like the the road okay. one thing that I'd like to add maybe is to see if you can add the texture let's go back in SketchUp I'd like to maybe not the sketch up one because I want to know exactly what's the size of that mesh. Um, okay, uh, I think I'll do that in another video, but this is just to show you how to create a mesh in ArchiCAD using SketchUp. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.